You remember those moments where you're watching the news and an earthquake has happened and wiped out a city? A tsunami slammed into people's lives. And what do you see? Amidst the devastation, what do you see? You see people walking in the streets, right? With their hands up. It's the way humans respond when they don't know where else to turn. And they just say, someone help. That place is called desperate hope. And as much as somebody is in jubilant celebration tonight and life is so, so amazing for you, and in a place like this tonight, maybe just seven seats down the row, there's another person, and it's the darkest of nights. And maybe that's you tonight. And I just want to tell you, I know that place. We don't know each other and it's not normal in an environment like this, but I just wanna be vulnerable and tell you that I know that place. About three years ago to this same week, my life just got turned upside down. There were some really difficult circumstances swirling around our family. And I don't know really what triggered it, but I do know that at two o'clock one morning, I just woke up, shot straight up in the bed, sweat pouring down my face, heart, I thought it was just gonna blow out of my chest. And I really thought, I'm not exaggerating or trying to be dramatic, I really thought this must be what it feels like when it all ends. And I got up out of the bed and tried to wash my face, tried to calm myself down, tried to, try to get control of myself, and I just couldn't all night long stay the same. Next day, same, worse. And I'll save you my long journey, but I will say that in the next 30 hours, I was in two emergency rooms with the craziest symptoms you can imagine. And that just persisted. Something was happening inside of me that was causing all these symptoms to go on. And every time one of them would manifest itself, I'd think I gotta go see this kind of doctor. And so for the next few weeks, it was doctor after doctor and test after test and procedure after procedure. And what was strange about all that was every test was like, this isn't wrong with you. And I'm like, well, I'm having this symptom. Well, we know, but this isn't wrong with you. And this test checks out and this isn't wrong with you. And this is fine and everything's fine. And so all the results were everything's fine, but everything wasn't fine. And I hated the night because week after week, no matter what time I went to sleep, two o'clock came and I shot up again, wide awake, just feeling like there was this cloud, this dread, this darkness just dripping down around me. I don't know if anybody here has any, any sense of what I'm trying to explain, but it just felt like it was just closing down on me and it would be that way for hours in the night. And I'll never forget about two months into it, boom, two o'clock comes. And that cloud is there, and I'm thinking to myself, I cannot do this anymore. And just laying in bed, my wife asleep next to me. I just, just felt my hands just going up towards heaven, and my heart was saying to him, God, you got to help me. The doctors had giving me all the good news, which is it's not that, that, and that, that, but they hadn't told me how to solve it. And no doctor had said, this is how we'll fix it. They were just saying things like, it's anxiety or it's some panic disorder or it's some depression triggered sequence of events. And I just remember looking up into the heavens and saying, God, please, please help. I remembered a verse that somehow had been in my heart years before a really hard time in our family. This verse out of Job, it says, God gives songs in the night. And I just felt that that night. I said, God, I don't know what else to do. And if you'll give me a song, I'll praise you. And almost instantly, this phrase just dropped into my mouth. This little line, be still my soul. There's a healer. And I thought, I'll sing that. That's all I had. And I just started singing that line, be still my soul. There's a healer. It's like that place in the Psalms where he says uh, to himself, don't be downcast, O my soul, but put your hope in God. 
It's that moment in life where, you know how great we are, by the way, at, at, at proclaiming the truth to our friends, but how terrible we are at times of preaching the truth to ourselves. And there comes a time in life when you are on your own and you're at the end of your rope. You're in the middle of the darkness and going through the valley of the shadow of death. And in that moment, you've got to start proclaiming the living word of God over your own life. And that's what that little line was. It was, be still my soul. There's a healer. Yeah, yes, to be honest, he didn't heal yesterday. And he hasn't healed today. And he might not heal tomorrow, but there is a God and he is a healer and I believe in him. And so I'm just gonna keep reminding myself tonight, be still my soul, there's a healer. And these other words came, his love is deeper than the sea. His mercy is unfailing. His arms a fortress for the weak. And then just this little phrase, I just kept singing it over and over. I lift my hands to believe again. You say, well, what happened in the morning? I know how all your preacher stories turned out. I'm guessing the morning came and everything was all fantastic, right? No. The next night, two o'clock came. But when two o'clock came the next night, I had a song. And it was cloud, yes, but then it was song. And the next night, cloud, song cloud, song, cloud, song, and then somehow it changed around, and it was song, cloud, song, cloud, song, cloud, then it was song, song, cloud, song, 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 cloud, then it was song, 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 and to be totally honest, the doctor did lead me out of that place and help me out of that place, but I know it was a song of praise that pierced through the darkness, it was a song of praise that opened up the path that led me through that valley and back into the light of day. And that's what I came to share tonight. I just came to open my heart and say for anybody here who feels like you're in the darkest place of your life tonight, I just want you to know, one, you are not crazy. And two, you are not alone. It may be dark, but the scripture says God is light and he is with you in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death. And I just want to invite you tonight to praise him right there and to trust his purpose for your life. You know, it's like the psalmist said in Psalm 63, oh God, you are my God, earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you, my body longs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. But he remembers, he said, but I've, I've seen you in the sanctuary. I have beheld your power and glory And because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. And here comes the fist. He said, I will praise you as long as I live. Yes, I'm in a dry and weary land, but I'll praise you as long as I live. That's what we need to say tonight. Yes, I'm in the valley of the shadow of death, but I'll praise you as long as I live. Yes, the prognosis has come back and it's news we didn't expect, but I will praise you as long as I live. Yes, the wind is strong and blowing right in our face, but with the breath you put in my lungs, I will praise you as long as I live. He said, I I will praise you as long as I live. And listen to his phrase. He said, and in your name, I will lift up my hands. And then he was telling me what I was doing. He said, I remember you on my bed. I think about you through the watches of the night because you have been my help. I sing in the shadow of your wings. My soul clings to you and your right hand upholds me. So Chris started writing for this album and we've written songs together, a bunch of us for a long time. And he said, Lou, you got anything you wanna put in? And I said, all I got are these simple little phrases, but they are so valuable to me. They got me through the hardest time of my life. And with all the genius that God's put in Chris, he took those simple lines and he wrote them into the most beautiful anthem for the darkest of nights. And if you came into the house tonight feeling like you might not make it through this night, I just wanna invite you to lift your hands up above the darkness, to lift them up above death and the grave, to lift them up above cancer, to lift them up above loss, to lift them up above depression or the turmoil or the stress or whatever it is that's come against you and say, I'm lifting my hands up to believe again that God may have led me in to the valley of the shadow of death, but his plan is not to leave me in the valley of the shadow of death, but to lead me all the way 
through. And that's what he's going to do. And we just pray that over you and believe it tonight. still there is a healer his love is deeper than the sea his mercy is unfailing his arms a fortress for the weak let faith Yeah.